I'm here with Naeem, yeah. and um, you are a FS, FX artist in the industry, correct? Correct. Okay, so could you give us a brief overview on your role in the industry? I work as an FX artist slash DD. Uh, I'm currently working at Beta Digital, and I'm responsible for doing simulations and effects work on movies and TV shows. Oh, wow. Okay. So how did you first get into the VFX industry? Um, well, it's a long one because uh, I started with a diploma first uh, in my hometown in Mumbai and then went to Bournemouth to do my master's. And after that, I landed my first job at Worldwide FX in Bulgaria. Oh, wow. Um, so um, how old were you when you landed your first job, if you don't mind me asking? 26? 26? 25, 26. Okay. One of the two. Um, when did you graduate? In 2012. Oh, okay. So um, how yeah. long have you actually been in the industry now? Uh, this is my seventh year. Seventh? Yeah. Wow, you've got a good show reel for only seven years. Very impressive. <laughs> yeah, I, I've been fortunate with the, with the kind of projects that I've gotten, gotten to do over the years. So, yeah, that's, it's, that's been one of the big positives in my uh, career so far. Brilliant. Um, if anything, did something inspire you to pursue this career path? Um, I think the first time I actually started thinking about this is, is when I was really young and I watched The Matrix. And that was back in 99, uh, I believe. And we didn't have a computer or internet back then. But when I watched The Matrix, you know, it started making me curious about how they actually made the damn thing. Um, so after that, I didn't do much for about it for years because without a computer, uh, no real good internet back then, it was not very easy to find information on how to get into doing something like this. But then once I finished high school, I started dabbling into uh, dabbling in Maya for a bit. And after I graduated and finished my bachelor's, I uh, started doing the diploma in my hometown. And that's when it really all started for me. Wow, okay. So, um, what software do you usually work with in the industry, primarily? Now, we, now I only use Side Effects Houdini. And, uh, well, basically, even though I learned Maya and Max while I was doing the b diploma, once I started working, the, uh, and even during my master's, I was only using Side Effects Houdini. So, that, since then, that's the only thing I've used. So, what is your master's in? Is it in um, FX um, specifically, or is it a uh, master's yeah. in VFX? Yeah, yeah it's a MA in digital effects from Bournemouth. Wow, okay. Yeah, I, I only ask because it's exactly what I want to do too. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's, a, it's a really good program, and I would recommend anyone who would like to do visual effects to look into it. Brilliant. So, um, how does the industry affect your personal life? It's definitely a difficult industry sometimes um, in terms of maintaining a good work-life balance. But I think in the last few years, uh, a lot of progress has been made by companies to make sure people are not working crazy hours and things like that to, and can have a good work-life balance. So I'd say in recent times, uh, the impact of work has been minimal on my personal life. So what, was your, what would your daily routine be as an effects artist? Um, normally, I just log in in the morning, um, check things, my renders or simulations from the previous day, and and if if it's all good, then I'd publish them for review. We'd have reviews in. We have two reviews normally: ones in the morning, ones in the afternoon, and and then based on the feedback on the reviews, I'd address whatever feedbacks there, or if it's good to pass on to lighting or comp then I'll do that so what kind of things have you worked on so far um I think I've done pretty much everything you know, that an effects artist normally does in terms of uh, you know destruction and pyro effects volumes fire smoke kind of thing I haven't done as much water or large-scale oceans and things like that hmm. But apart from that, uh, practically everything, really. Uh, do any um, um, like um, shots you've worked on previously come to mind when asking that question? 
I think after the amount of projects I've done, a dozen over a dozen projects, it's kind of hard to <laughs> yeah. go back and think about a specific shot. But there have been, fortunately, there have been pl- plenty of good shots in in that time. But yeah, I can't really think of a specific shot that would stand out, or at least. Well, maybe something that's not even come out yet, but yeah, some of the recent stuff hasn't come out yet. So that's the main thing that's in my uh, head okay. at the moment. Yeah, I won't ask you about that, don't worry. <laughs> yeah. So do you have a favorite project um, you've worked on so far? In terms of uh, the, the quality of work that we've done, uh, Thor Ragnarok was probably one of my favorite projects. The third Thor film, and it was also a really fun movie, so that that made it even nicer. Ford vs Ferrari was another another really good project for me. Mm. Um, but in terms of just the amount of fun I've had on the project, then X Men Apocalypse was was that because it was just a great team, and uh, we all had a really good time on that project. Okay, um, I wanted to ask you a little bit about the Game of Thrones um, scene that you worked on mm-hmm. because I specifically wanted to find someone who worked on, worked on that because I, I think it's yeah. so impressive. What specifically did you work on during the shot? I know you did the interior destruction, I think, yeah. if I got that correct. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah. like, what specifically did you do? Yeah, um, I think the shot was such that there was a two or three shot cut of the same destruction and I think one of the other guys started doing that shot first and then he got moved on to something else and I picked up the interior destruction things from him to finish it off and yeah so it was basically the fire coming from the from underground and it blow it explodes blowing up the interior of the set Okay, so how long would a um, scene like that take you to um, produce? Um, maybe it was two to three weeks in total, but we never really work on one thing at a time. Okay. So we're usually juggling two or three or f- even four or five different things, depending on what you're doing. But mm. it was probably about two to three weeks in total to, to do it. Okay. Um, how has COVID-19 mm-hmm. affected your work, if at all? Fortunately, not at all. Um, I know a lot of people who have had a difficult time this year, and well, last year. And I guess I've been fortunate that well, the things that we were working on first at Rising Sun and now at Weta have, have had minimal impact from COVID-19. So, um, moving back on to... Um your job um how have you always wanted to work with effects specifically or is there a different part of the effects that you wanted to go into at another time when i was doing the diploma in in mumbai i didn't know exactly what i wanted to do but i knew it was something in visual effects but then as i started learning more and you know tried my hand at modeling texturing animation then i figured out that uh, effects was what i wanted to do so what would you say your biggest accomplishment is in the industry so far? That's a tough one because um, I think some of the work that we did on X-Men Ap- Apocalypse was, I'd say, was quite a big accomplishment as a team because on that project we were really up against it for most of it and had an insane amount of work to do in a really short amount of time. Mm-hmm. So, the, so, so the way we accomplished that was, was quite satisfying. Really? But the other accomplishment was probably, for me personally, is 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 being a lead on Captain Marvel, which was, which is a, a well, it's a Marvel show, which is a big show as well. So to lead a team of people on there, and doing quite a successful project was was quite satisfying for me personally. Mm. So um, where do you see yourself in the industry in let's say ten years? We could bring I think it down to five if you want. To be <laughs> ideally, yeah, I think five might be more appropriate. Mm. But ideally, I'd like to be in a management role, managing teams or projects. I think that's uh, that's where my uh, that's where I think I should be working. That's what I should be working towards. Is what I think. So finally, do you have any advice for someone like me who aspires to work with effects? Yes, I. 
it's it's difficult because I think when juniors get into the industry, they feel like they should know everything. Mm. But if you depending on where you go to work, is it can be quite different because if you go to work for a big company as a junior, no one no one will really expect you to know everything. But the important thing thing that's common wherever you go to work is is you should be enthusiastic about learning and you should be proactive and you should be able to uh, you should be able to work well in a team that's those three are the, i think the most important things for people wanting to go into the industry because softwares will change and workflows will be different from place to place um, but i think the mo- the common thing that you'll find is people who work well in a team are proactive and um, are enthusiastic about learning are the ones who are usually very successful. To conclude, speaking to Naeem has really given me some knowledge of the industry itself and what the next steps I need to take are in order to get into a similar position. Through talking to Naeem, I've realised that living in New Zealand, which is where Weta Digital is located, would be a dream come true for me. I found out I could potentially move on after this degree to get a Masters in Effects, which is something I'm very much considering after this conversation. The most important thing to note is to keep learning, because with a software as advanced and intricate as Houdini, you never really know everything there is to know. So I will continue to learn but not put myself under the pressure of worrying that I do not know enough. It's amazing to find out the industry is improving its stance with mental health, as I heard that was a very overlooked thing with people in this industry. To hear it's improving is a very good thing to hear, and worries me less than before. More than anything, after talking to Naeem, I am just genuinely excited to get working and really develop my skills and do the best I possibly can with the resources I have and hopefully get somewhere.